all right you guys uh we'll be back with another video for pokemon planet uh if you're new to the channel like and subscribe and just uh go back and watch some of my previous videos man we do a lot of quests we do a lot of finding walkthroughs we do a lot of um kind of personal opinions on new upgrades and updates to the game and i do show uh I do a lot of walkthroughs pretty much like where to show pickaxes, where to get pickaxes, pickaxes, how to use the global mark. Pretty much anything about the game that I know and I know pretty much where a lot of things are in the game. So uh, as we left off in the last video, we're in Mount Moon doing the quest for Mount Moon. So I just want to go ahead and show now. That now that quest took way too long, guys. I did not, I did not uh complete that quest <laughs> in Mount Moon with finding his uh finding the explorer's notes. I did not do that. That was taking a little bit too long. Uh, I did some mining, and remember, guys, I told you I'm banned from my other two accounts. I'm banned for two weeks from my main account. So I created this account, and I just start from scratch to make myself some money so when i do get my main account back when they lift the band i can trade myself and i'll have a lot of money so i'm not just sitting here on dead time you know not doing anything uh you know trying to further my success in the game now, i'm not going to be able to get my pokemon's levels up but i still can get money and items and things like that so i'll be able to trade over to my other account and pokemon i'll be able to trade myself a blastoise like I said in the last video, so I'll have a Blastoise. I'll have all three to start a Pokemon. Uh, Blastoise, Charizard, and Venusaur. So, um, if you look how much I mined over here, I got three gold ones, three gold gemstones, 103 red gemstones, and 122 blue gemstones. Now, I got a couple ideas. and Y'all should tell me what I should do. Look how much they're worth right now. Hundred, sell 122 blue gemstones for 12200 Or sell 103 for five. 5k this is 45 uh 4.5 k for the three goals um just some simple stuff like that so we're in pewter city now we just came from mount moon and uh just go left out of mount moon and follow it all the way back follow route three back through pewter city so now we're going i'm going to show you guys this other tat uh other quests in vermilion forest now a lot of you part pro probably already know about it not familiar for us, excuse me, Viridian Forest. Uh, so we're gonna go in here now, Viridian Forest, and this is right at the end of it. This is the end of Viridian Forest. I can go back through, uh, and show you, but it's pretty much easy. You will go in, you'll go right, and you'll just stay. So you'll stay to the inside. Take the right grass lane, but stay against the inside trees, and just follow. You'll make lefts. You'll make a left. You'll go down. You'll make another left and then you'll go up and you'll go left again and then you'll come up to this final one right here. So it's pretty much just like a snake pattern, just serpentine, you know, <laughs> just go down, up, down, up, and you'll make it. Here. So right here is the bug catcher Milo. Now I already did this quest. It is a, uh, now about this quest, it is, I wouldn't say it's a waste of time, but it's pretty much a way to make grinding more fun so you're gonna have to kill he tells you that the bugs are getting on his nerves and he asks you to kill 10 caterpies and 10 weedles so what you do is just run around in here find 10 caterpies 10 weedles and i recommend since you're on the low level you sh you're mo more than likely you're on the low level by the time you get to this point in the game so what i suggest is every random pokemon every wild pokemon that appears you attack and you kill it don't run from it it's it's not gonna you know do anything for you like just grind you just grind it anyway so you just every pokemon that comes up and uh if you lose count how many caterpies how many weedles you can go back over here to him you'll talk to him which i've already did so it's not going to tell me but you talk to him and he'll tell you how many you killed and how many you have left so 10 caterpies 10 weedles that's for that uh viridian forest quest and um i just wanted to show you guys that real fast since while we're on the topic of quests after that one i showed you a mount moon uh i did not <laughs> i did not finish that one 
like I said, bro, that was way too much for me. It was taking too long just to find these notes. So what I'm going to do is, uh, but while I'm here, I can show you this quest as well. Uh, the word Viridian City, if you already have cut, now you can't get back here unless you have cut. If you already have cut, then as soon as you come out at the end of Viridian City, there will be the tree right here. You will cut and you will come this way. If you keep going up on the dirt road over there, you would end up in Pewter Town. So that's what we do. You can go into the cave, but that's not what we're doing now. Follow it straight down. Remember, you got to have cut. See, look. And uh, this is this is a quest that I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm not sure if a lot of people know about this. But I, I just wanted to come on here real fast and get these quests out the way and just show you guys where to find them at and where to do them. We're going to complete this one for this video. Hey, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If you have caught at least 10 different types of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you a reward. So see, Professor Oak got our back, baby. You only have caught nine kinds of Pokemon. You need to catch at least 10 before receiving a reward. So guys, what we're going to do is go ahead and just catch something random. Just anything. Just so we can complete the quest and we can see what our reward is. Now, I waited to do this quest just for you guys because I'm not sure if a lot of people know about this. Because once you receive cut... A lot of people just move forward in the game. They don't really come back to the previous towns until, you know, we have to. So what we're going to do is uh, I, we're just going to go ahead and catch a, um, catch a Caterpie. And uh, who has sleep powder? Okay. I wasn't sure if it was my butter for your uh, Bellsprout. Uh, not Bellsprout, Weeping Bell. I can't wait to get a victory belt. That's really what I'm trying for. Like, that's really why I like Weeping Bell for a victory belt. That's really what I want, to be honest with you. So, let's go ahead and use the Sleep Powder. Because we don't want to attack him. Because we'll definitely kill him. He's a level 1. <laughs> I really don't even want to waste Pokeball on him. But, here we go. Just for the video. Of course, he broke free. Don't do this. Uh, we're going to hit him with Sleep Powder again. And we're going to just throw a great ball. We got 35 of them, so it's not going to. I can't believe he broke out of a Pokeball, though. A level 1 Caterpie? That's crazy. All right, we caught him. There we go. So now we're going to head back up here. Route 2. We already cut that down, so boom. Go back up here and see what Professor Oak's aid is going to give us. I'm thinking it's just, it's probably just going to be an upgrade on the Pokedex, man. or something simple, but. It's just fun. You know, it's, it's fun quests. Just time, the kill time, and the grind. It makes grinding easier. Like, more enjoyable. You know what I'm saying? If you have caught at least 10 different types, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Congratulations. You have caught 10 kinds of Pokemon. So here's your reward. No, it's not an upgrade in Pokedex. I actually forgot. This is Flash. HM Flash. So it wasn't, uh, in my opinion, it wasn't really worth it. Because I haven't been to a cave yet on this game. Like, back on the uh, on the Game Boys and the DSs and, and, you know, on the handheld games, Flash was actually needed. When you would be in a dark cave, you would use Flash. And, uh, you know, you'll be able to see. But I haven't really been into a dark cave here where you have to use Flash. There's nothing in this building. I'll check it for y'all. <laughs> for y'all curiosity so you don't got to. There's nothing in there. So, um... That was pretty much it. You came down Route 2. I'm just going to show you where it leads when you follow me. In this cave right here. This is just a very small Diglett's cave. Uh, I can show you how to get through that on another video. Uh, but for right now, we're going to head back to um, Cerulean City. And then I'll get back to you. So I'll see y'all in Cerulean City. All right, guys, we're back. I know I said uh, Cerulean City, but this is a decent place to grind. If your Pokemon are only uh, about 10 to mid-teens, like your, uh, your starter Pokemon should definitely be well over 10 at this point. But I know you would still have your party Pokemon that would be maybe 10, 11. So right there, you'll get 
level sevens, level eights. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A couple female girl uh, knit arenas, you know, be girls over there. But they'll help you get your level up because the female knit arenas are actually stronger than the males. In my opinion, with Earthquake and uh, moves that they learn in the future. But this is just, just a little good place to grind, like I said. That's all. I figured I'd just show y'all that. So a lot of people always look for places that where they could grind at to get the level up. And that's the main way. There's two ways you can get your levels up on here. Either you're going to grind or you're going to mine. That's, that's it. And grinding is just fishing, fighting wild Pokemon. Or you can go into previous gyms that you have already beat. And you can fight. You, you can't fight the gym leader, but you can fight... Uh, the grunts, you know, the pawns in the in the gym. You can fight them over and over every 24 hours. So that's a good way to kind of grind your money up and uh, just get your levels up a little bit. So like I said, we're gonna we're going through Mount Moon. Uh, you know what? We can make this a walkthrough. As y'all see, we came from Route Three. So now we're just gonna head through Mount Moon. No, we're going to show you how to get through here. I'm moving real slow right now. And I don't really understand why. Oh, there we go. We're getting some speed back in it. There you go. Yeah, so like I said about a bike, I'd rather, to be honest, I'd rather walk through caves because the faster you move, the more wild Pokemon you're likely to run into. And if you don't have money for repels or if you don't, if you're stuck in the middle of the cave at that time and you don't want to go all the way back just to get repels, I would just keep pushing forward. So, as y'all can see, we're pretty much just following it all the way through. We didn't take not one ladder. So, go straight in Mount Moon. Go straight. As soon as you come, as soon as you come into the cave, you go straight. Turn right. Then turn quick left around that wall and just follow it. And follow it until the dead end. Don't take no ladders until you reach that dead end. And then you'll take this ladder. And then this one. And you guys saw that quest dude from the last video. <laughs> he was just sitting there. Uh, We just take around. We just take this all the way around. It's a, it's a pretty big cave. It's not... It's not quite big. Like, it's not too big, I'm saying. It's not quite as big as, uh... Diglett's Cave. Well, Diglett's Cave is actually smaller than this. What am I talking about? So, we're, Mount, we're on Mount Moon Main 2 right now. Repels effects wore off. I know y'all probably like, man, you on level... You, I'm, you on level 27. I'm almost level 30. And I'm sitting here attacking these level... <laughs> Like, they're barely level 10. Like, 5, 7, they weak as hell. But I'm just, uh, I'm fighting them just because, man. It's, it's pointless. Any, any, whatever counts. Any experience counts. So, we're taking this all the way through. Like I said, don't take any ladders until you reach a dead end. And, uh, let me go ahead and use another repel for y'all so we can get you through here. Make sure you have repels with you now. Make sure you have them. Because you are going to need them unless you're grinding. Unless that is your plan. Then just keep this video paused. Walk through. Grind. Do what you got to do. And then go back to the video to, you know, look to see how to get out. When you're ready to get out. But, uh. So, we're, all, we're coming up right now. This will be the last drop down so I'm gonna go ahead and use another one uh, 25 steps we probably got about oh and we're out so we're on route 4 we made it out of Mount Moon the best location to EV train and attack see I'm telling y'all if you want to grind that's where you do it because everything you do in Mount Moon you can get your level up because when you mine you can run into wild Pokemon just walking around. You can run into wild Pokemon, obviously. And uh, I wouldn't say that's the best. The best cave is, uh, I forget the name of it. 
I'm going to say it's in, I don't want to, I, I really forget what city it's in, but they have, you can fish, mine, and just run into uh, wild Pokemon in this cave. Oh, by the uh, Elite Four, where the Elite Four building is. That is one of the best places to grind to when you're ready to get there. And when we're ready to get the Elite Four, trust me, well, I'm going to show you all that too. The Elite Four is not as hard to beat like people think they are. So, remember guys, I just told you all those quests. Now we're in Cerulean City, where we needed to be. And, uh, I showed you all them two quests. I didn't want it to be a real short video, so I'm sorry about that. So, I just, I showed y'all the bug quest, the quest for uh, Professor Oak's assistant. That Viridian quest uh, with the Weedles. You have to kill 10 Weedles and 10 Caterpies. That is, that's a pretty fun quest, man. It really is. Just to grind and waste time. So right now, I'm going to uh, end the video here. And uh, let me think if there's something I wanted to show y'all. There's one more thing. Bill is up this way. For anybody who didn't see my last video, Cerulean City. When you get to Cerulean City, after you beat Misty, you want to come up here over the bridge, walk straight up, and it'll be Route 24. Once you get up here, past the Team Rocket Grunt, he's he's weak, man. I don't really, I don't think Team Rocket going to accept his application, man. For real, for real. So we, so once you get out here, you're gonna just head this way. You're gonna go right. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. You're just gonna walk, keep going right. And you'll be on Route 25. Just to show you all Route 25. You're going to follow this all the way straight. And there will be a house at the end. You go into that house. That is Bill. Bill will give you the SS and ticket. Which would be this right here. If you look. Over in my inventory. As you can see. Right here the SS and ticket. And you will use that. Pardon <clears throat> You would use that so you can enter the uh, boat, the SSN, in Vermilion City. And that's how you find Cut. And I, that, I showed you all how to do that in my last video. So now I'm on my way to Vermilion City. I'm going to do a little more grinding with my mining. I'm going to do a little more grinding so I can get my money up. And then on the next video... I'll probably make a, I'll probably do that tomorrow because I'm a, I told you I'm going to spend the rest of the day today just grinding and uh, I'm going to go to Vermilion City and we're going to battle the gym there and I just, I'm trying to make sure that I'm way stronger than them before, before we get there. So we, we're heading down right now to Route 5 and I'll see y'all in Vermilion City. All right, guys. So we're here in Vermilion City. We just got here. Usually, this would be swarmed with people. People, because the clan building's right here. So usually, you got a lot of clans. You got a lot of people with nice mounds. As you can see, she's a chat monitor. <laughs> with the green names are chat monitors. Yellow names are gold members. I used to be one myself. Uh, so they banned my accounts. Like I said, for two weeks. I bet you, I, I bet you, I'm probably not even going to be a gold member when on the April 27th when they lift my ban, which is going to be, I'm gonna be a little mad and I might have to email them. But this is the gym, the third gym. We're getting ready to go in here, and that will be on my next video. So y'all like, y'all subscribe, and uh, stay tuned.